You know, Brother Ken, we had some call-ins. Uh, please pray for the family of Harvey Bolin. And the Bolin family really enjoying the program today. Eller Gross needs healed of breathing troubles. Let's just pray for these needs. Father God, Lord, in the holy name of Jesus, we thank you for what you've already done. That by your stripes we are healed and we were healed. And we're believing for this sister, Lord, to accept it today, to believe it and receive it. Oh, and we're thankful, so thankful for your holy word, the truth of your gospel in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. You know, I just thought for a quick moment here, Romans chapter 1. I want to read you the 17th verse. Just like the song that the Lord laid on my heart today, this goes right in with that song. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. See, that's what we need today, Brother Ken. We need faith, and we need to put our faith in action. Praise God. The people that's listening by the way of TV and radio, let your faith come alive. You know, we've heard good word today, but by faith you need to receive that word. You need to believe it. You need to walk in it and apply it. You can hear some of the best preaching you've ever heard in your life. You can have them lined up from one end of this wall to the other one. But until you receive it, until you believe it and apply it, it ain't going to do you any good. You got to apply this word. You got to walk in it daily. And I thought about how that we can be a disciple of God. How we can be a soldier of the Lord. A good soldier, the Bible talks about. And there's characteristics of a good soldier. Brother, you'll be faithful. Amen. You, you'll be somebody that God can uh, depend on and count on and have confidence in. Oh, right there's a faithful servant. If I give them a work to do, if I give them something to do, they're going to do it. Amen. That's what God is looking for. For the Father seeketh such that will worship him in spirit and in truth. There's a lot of truth in this word. The word is the truth. And the spirit of truth, the Holy Ghost, will lead you and guide you into all truths. But, you know, you've got to tap into the deeper part of this. You know, you can hear a message and just let it fly by. But if you hear that message and let it seep down and take root and that seed start to sprout out, things will begin to happen amen you'll see a difference in your life when this gospel when this book becomes real to you that's what it's going to take it's going to become real it's not just a story anymore it's not just somebody that i heard brother ken or sister brenda or brother jonathan talking about hey jesus is real and this gospel is real, and I'm going to apply it into my life, and I'm going to walk in the light as he is in the light. We're going to have fellowship one with another. Hey, the, just like the light come on, something happened. Uh oh this is real. This is not just a song that somebody sings. It's not just a good story that somebody tells. This is real. And once you believe that and let it come alive, brother, you, you talk about a change. You just won't say, well, it's time to go to church anymore. You'll realize that you are the church. Hey, man, you'll realize that you're God's chosen vessels. A and children, sons and daughters of almost the most high God. Amen. Let it come alive to you. 